Hey guys, today we are testing three plus plates from Ace Link Armor. So let's get right into the details of this body armor. So this is a mixture between polyethylene and ceramic. So it makes them very lightweight and durable. So they're about four and a half pounds, which is really nice when you have something on you for a long period of time. I have them in my plate carrier that I'm testing currently from Ace Link. This is their Scale Attack. This is a new one that just came out. So this whole setup is really, really lightweight, especially when you have loaded magazines and whatever else you might have on your setup. So let's get right into my relationship with Ace Link. They did send me this setup along with an extra body armor to shoot at and test, which is really nice of them to send me plates to run along with the one just to shoot at and basically make a video. They trust it enough to see that uh, I will go out and just shoot it with whatever I want and find out how much it stops. So that's what we do today. If you guys haven't seen my video previously of shooting their level three polyethylenes, uh, I will tag that. You guys can go check that one out. That one we went from small caliber all the way up to high caliber. I think we started with 5.56 and ended with 30.6. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different because obviously this is a higher level of armor. I didn't want to do that same test because it'd be kind of boring because if you've seen that one, you're basically going to see the same results. So what we did instead is we went with 5.56 and 7.62 and shot it as many times as possible, multiple times to see how many rounds it could stop before letting something through. So the, the old one stopped at 30.6. Uh, so I imagine these are going to do the same thing because they're a higher threat level. And then you guys can see how well these ones did. So I don't want to talk too much here. I want to get right into the video footage. We'll talk after the video. So let's get right into that. The microphone might be a little bit lower just because I didn't have the actual mic here like I have in the house and the uh, quality of it. So there's no outside surrounding sounds. So it might be a little bit less, but uh, we'll get right into that. Josh and I are here at the range and we're going to be testing the level three plus body armor. So we're going to go set that up real quick. Uh, this is the body armor, their new scale attack carrier along with the three plus plates in here as well. So that is my new carrier that I'm going to be running. Um, I'm not going to be running it today because it's like 90 degrees, so we're just going to set that there. So here's the guns that we're going to be using. We're going to use the F1 firearms build, the 223, and then we're going to go to the 7.62, uh, my AK. So we'll go from 5.56, 7.62, 5.56, 7.62 until one finally gets through. So we'll start with the uh, AR and then we'll go to the AK and we'll see how many rounds get through it. So put in the comments before you guys see the end here on how many you think is going to make it through. I think, I don't know. I think 10 are going to stop. I think it'll stop 10, and then one will probably get through. So what do you think, Josh? Uh, I'm going to go 15. 15? Okay. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll go set this up real quick. All right, so we don't have a stand set up for it because I forgot to build one. But we're just going to set it here into the A zone and do this. This should work enough. So that'll keep in there enough, give it a little bit of retention that way, because before I set it down... And uh, I'd rather have it this way where I actually have something to hold against it. So that'll work. We're gonna be 15 yards back. We're gonna start with 5.56. We did not have the camera on. So we're gonna check it. First shot. Right, holy cow. So you see that? Did not get through. Very little bulging on that. That's cool. So this has ceramic in it as well. It's polyethylene and ceramic. So I'm really interested in cutting this one open and seeing what's inside. Because if you guys seen my previous video, the ceramic one, just a bunch of thin pieces of plastic all pressed together. Uh, this one's uh, got the ceramic in it instead of the polyethylene. So it's got a combination. So I'm guessing that crunchy part in the front is probably the ceramic and behind it's the polyethylene. But once we're done here, we'll cut it up and find out. So first shot, good to go. We'll go to the 7.62. Right in the center. These things are leaving a lot bigger holes than the other one did. So it's got a much bigger hole. So here's the hole in this one. This one's the 5.56, five, it's much smaller. This definitely stop that one. So we'll go ahead and go back to the AR. So that's two. We're gonna try to shoot them around. We don't wanna shoot in the same spot over and over. Uh, eventually we're gonna have to, but we're gonna try to keep them a little bit distance. So we shot right here. And uh, what's weird is you don't have the bigger hole, so I wonder what caused that not to blow out the front like that. In the back, you do have the stop as well. So it's getting a little bit bigger here, so I wonder if that's because we've shot it multiple times so it's not quite as strong, or just because depending where you're shooting. So that's the third shot that it stopped. We're gonna go and do the fourth. These bulges are not very deep, which is nice, so they're not gonna be breaking ribs probably. You're gonna feel something, you're gonna feel that energy coming through, uh, but it's probably most likely not gonna be breaking rib because it's not actually against your body because it's not far enough to stick out. Like when we shot that 30 out sticks and it created a massive bulge. So we'll go ahead and shoot it again here with the AK. Yeah, 
fourth shot and we got that blot on the front again. Like I said, I'm really interested to see once I cut this open to see what's inside there. And an even bigger bulge. So I'm thinking we're getting more of uh, the integrity of it's getting a little lost on it because of the actual shots that are getting into it. So it's like small, medium, a little bit bigger than the biggest. So I think the next ones we're gonna see a little bit bigger. That one, you're probably gonna feel just a tad. It doesn't feel much against my chest when I have it against there, but you're gonna feel that one a lot more than the other two. But still not a massive bulge. That's still pretty cool. So four shots been stopped. We'll go ahead and go back to five, five, six. So we got there about the same location on that one. And we still don't have any through yet. That was pretty close to the exact same hole. Actually, get a close up here. Look at that. It gives you a really good view of what's in there. So you can really see. And then all your bullet is right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's broken up in there. So that's really cool. Right there. And it still did not make it through. So it's getting close because that's even bigger bulge. A little bit bigger bulge, not too much more. But you can actually see it blew out the back. And I think that's the polyethylene right there. So that looks like the last parts is the polyethylene. Maybe that first part's the ceramic. So getting close, I think, but we're still not there. So that is six shots, three with five, five, six, three with seven, six, two, and uh, still nothing getting through. Right there, still did not get through. Let's go to the next one. All right, that is right there. And still, still not through. That's pretty cool. And that one, these three are really close to each other. It's like that one right there. And still, nothing is through. But that whole front shield, there's like a, a hard spot right here, but right here, it's all crumbled because of all the shots that went through. So that front plate, whatever that, either that be ceramic or the polyethylene is completely destroyed right here at the center. So I'm gonna try to shoot around here so we don't keep just shooting in that same hole. I hit the target. All right, so I hit just on the target there. I was trying to aim high. Uh, so the spalling of the, the target did shoot all this stuff out. So it's gonna look like it got grenaded from the top. So that's kind of cool actually, look at that. The piece of shrapnel went all the way down. So we'll set it back up here. Right there, it's pretty high. <laughs> wow. Still not through. That one put a lot bigger of a dent in that though, as you can see, it's a lot bigger bulge on that one. So you're definitely gonna feel that right there, probably break the rib, but you're not gonna have a hole in you, so that's a benefit. So let's go ahead and do 11. It's kind of hard to tell now because there's so many holes on this, but we'll have to look back at the video. It might've been this one though, because it looks like this bottom blew out. Either way, it's one of these two. We'll look back. Probably, I can't remember. Either way, there's still no hole. That's the ceramic. That's gonna be what's on that front part there. That's gonna be your initial shot. That just fell out of this. That's pretty thick too. That's really cool. So that's what's crumbling in here. Let's go ahead and take shot 12. I think up here. There's so many holes at this point. Let's just look over the back real quick. I do not see any holes. Nothing on the back there yet. There's the front. I'm gonna pretend like I know where that hit. All right, we got our first hole. Here we go. It looks like it made it through. Number 13. So that was right here is where he shot that 13th shot. Finally made it through. Looks like you can get shot 13 times with this. And that's right here in this one square. So, I mean, you still got some spots here we could have shot, but that's that's 13 shots in a very close spot. So that's pretty impressive. That makes me happy because that's honestly what I'm wearing right now. That's in my, my primary kit for Kayla and me. So it's kind of nice to know to see how much that can stop. So we got one through. I'm gonna go try a different gun real quick because I'm curious what'll happen. And then we're probably just gonna load on it real quick and see if we can't get anything else through. All right, I've never shot a 45 Colt at body armor before, so we're just gonna take a shot at it. I'm sure it will probably stop it, but 
And maybe there's something weird about 45 Colt that'll prevent it. So we'll shoot this one out real quick. Watch, this is like the body armor killer. It did not make it through. I did not think it would, but I was just curious. I wanted to see what would happen. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to shoot the AK at it three to five times and see how many holes we can get out of the back. Five shots with an AK. You can see they're all around here. There's no way. Okay, one, one made it through down there. So we got one definitely through. That's the 556. Five, yeah, it looks like just one made it through. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. That is really cool. Uh, <laughs> this thing's pretty mangled at this point. Um, it didn't blow too much in the front, actually. It looks like you just did some clean shots through there. The back, let's see. We shot eight shots. Looks like there's one hole there. There's no way that that only got one through. You got one hole here, which you still, you can even see some of the bullets still in it. So not all of it made it through. So that's the original one. There's the other one. <laughs> that looks like only one shot out of those eight made it through. That's cool. Actually, look at that. That almost snapped this corner. You can bend that. That is crazy. So one shot definitely made it through. I don't see anything else in the back of this. Something else might have made it through. You never know. It's kind of hard to tell. But definitely one made it through out of those eight. So 13 rounds before one made it through. And then uh, the various of five and eight. Only a couple made it through. We're going to go back to the house and I'm going to actually do this at the couch because it's a lot better audio and I'm not sweating. So we're just going to throw this in the back of the truck, head back to the house and finish uh, the review on this. So as you can tell from the video, it did really well. It stopped a lot of rounds before it let one through, uh, which gives me confidence, especially because I'm currently carrying this on the carrier that is the one that I would put on if I ever needed to. They do also have level fours that are already out that I will be getting here soon. Uh, they just had a lot of demand for those, so I couldn't get those ones right away, but they are sending those for me to test as well. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for tests on those, if you wanna see something different, what you want me to shoot at with those, please put it in the comments below, and I would love to try to get a hold of that for the testing process, because I wanna do something again different for that, because it's a different body panel, but I don't wanna do the same thing over and over and over. Uh, I wanna try to do some different things, see what uh, else this thing can stop. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'm really happy with this. We'll go downstairs, we'll cut it open, and do a quick thing of that. This video is already going to be really long, so I don't want to take too much time talking and all that stuff. We'll go downstairs and cut it and uh, see what's inside. If you guys have any questions about this setup, let me know. So far, really happy with Ace Link stuff. I've done two testing on their body armor, and so far it's done really good. The other video kind of blew up. A lot of people were asking me questions on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram about these, and I'm trying to give you guys as much information as possible. I'm not a professional with body armor. I don't don't make it, so it's kind of hard. The only thing I can do is go out and shoot it and tell you what I found during that time. And what I found is this is stopping a lot of rounds, and uh, the other stuff stopped a lot as well. How lightweight it is, how comfortable it is, and so far I'm really happy with this stuff. So down in the basement, we're gonna cut this open and see what's inside. Uh, this is already a pretty long video, so I'm not gonna spend too much time doing this, but this is sometimes the coolest part just to see what's actually in here. Uh, not all the time when you get to buy something like that do you cut it open and see what's in there. So we'll just cut this first layer. So we're starting to get it open and you can see the ceramic in the front here. And that is really cool. It's actually an adhesive that sticks to it. So that's what's making it kind of difficult. And that's what we found out at the range was that piece of ceramic. So there's the polyethylene under the ceramic. So you see the ceramic right here and then that's when the polyethylene starts right behind it. This is really hard to cut because as you can see here, the ceramic is it has an adhesive onto this. So it's really hard to get it broken away from it, but we're getting there. That's a good view of it right there. So there's that ceramic plate that's on top of the polyethylene. That is really cool. And there's the broken from the back. So we're just gonna go from the back here because this is gonna be a lot easier to get to. And so there's a side profile of it. So if you guys never seen polyethylene and what that is, it's just a bunch of thin pieces of plastic compressed really tightly together. And then you've got 
a little thing of foam here on the corner and then that's where the ceramic is right in front of it. So really cool. If you guys want to see a little more in depth, my old video uh, has a lot more. I ripped the whole thing into pieces, but I'm not gonna do that now because that'll take a really long time. But I want to look it over once more real quick just to make sure I did not miss any holes. There's one here, one here. You've got the bullet, or at least pieces of it, inside this one. So my guess is something came out. It stopped the majority of it, but something definitely came out. It's definitely a hole. So something came through that. So that's three, and that is it. Three holes. So only three bullets went through, so it is confirmed. Only three. That is pretty cool. I'm really happy with that, uh, especially since this is the stuff that I'm going to be wearing. So there you guys go. So if you guys would like to help support me and the channel and everything I do, go down into the description. There's two ways to do that. There's Patreon and there's a link to my website. From there, you can order things through other links like Brownells, Palmetto State, Cloud Defensive, anything you buy and purchase using my links gives me a small kickback and shows those companies that I'm generating flow, which helps out a ton uh, because camera equipment, ammo, all this other stuff does get expensive and it helps me a lot. If not, not a big deal. I just appreciate you guys being here, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Uh, if you guys want to order something from Ace Link, like I said, I have a discount code, Tactical Advisor, that will save you 10% off and free shipping, uh, which definitely saves a lot when you're spending on body armor, carriers, and everything else. It adds up really quickly. Uh, this is over $1,000, this whole setup, I think. I think it's closer to 1300, don't quote me on that, but it does get expensive, so that saves you a good chunk of money if you wanna go that route. Another company that supports me a ton is Howitzer. I wear their shirts all the time, absolutely love their stuff. Uh, one of the biggest things I really like about them is they give 5% of proceeds to charities, which is really, really cool. Uh, I support them a lot, they support me as well. So if you guys wanna check them out, a link will be in the description for them. So got a lot of things going on. This video is really long, so I, I usually try to do like an end part where I tell you what's going on. Um, I just broke 10,000 subscribers. Huge thank you to all of you. That has been a really big goal of mine this year and uh, really excited about it. Just waiting for YouTube to allow me to do stories and I will be doing a lot of updating on products, testing. Um, I actually have a new video coming up here on the Times 2, had some big malfunctions with that and it's unfortunate because I really like that optic. I actually just did a review on it but if I had stories unlocked right now I'd be able to give you guys story updates but unfortunately it's not yet. So I'm waiting on YouTube. Other than that I'm going to cut this short because I don't want this video to be 25 minutes long. So I thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. I really look forward to what else is down the road. I got a lot of plans. Uh, the police academy starts very soon and my life is going to be very hectic so content might be a little inconsistent coming here soon but i appreciate you all thank you so much okay.